Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to today's Morning Ramble. And today I wanted to share a, a sort of a simple metaphor for three levels of feeling. And the, the metaphor is the ocean. So the ocean is pretty vast. And I think that's probably an understatement. <laughs> like the ocean is... I, I forget whether it's something like three quarters of the planet is covered by ocean. And on the surface, there are times where the ocean is very calm. And there are times where the uh, ocean is crazy. You know, you've, you've, you've probably seen the same movies as I have about the storms that come in and, and uh, hurricanes and the incredible uh, tidal waves and things that can happen. Uh, on the surface of the ocean. But if you dive down under the surface, it's, it's quite calm, and then there are currents that, if you let them, will take you, and fish use those currents to, to travel. And they, they have movement, but there's a kind of a calmness to them. They move under the surface, and you can kind of swim in and out of them. And then in, in the, the deepest parts of the ocean, there's kind of a profound stillness. The, the phrase hidden depths comes up. And, and to my mind, those three sort of levels correspond to the three levels that human beings feel at. So on the surface, we have all our emotionals and, and our emotional life and all our ups and downs. And, and sometimes it's really choppy and sometimes it's like a tidal wave. And sometimes it's quite still and beautiful and peaceful. And we can get obsessed with the state of the surface with the state of our emotion, with what kind of a mood am I in now? What kind of a mood am I in now? What am I feeling now? What am I feeling now? And we can even use things like meditation to try and smooth the surface, quiet the, the mind and the feeling. But underneath all that, whether it's still or crazy, there are these kind of deeper currents. And that's that feeling that we have when we're in flow, when we're being guided, when we're kind of just know what to do as we're doing it, where the, the feeling is one of, of being carried, of being lived. And that's always available, regardless of what's going on on the surface, which is why so many artists and musicians can have crazy personal lives. And yet when they're doing their art, when they're making their music, when they're, they're doing that thing that they do, the athlete in flow, none of that matters. And they can just really get into the game. And then there's the world of deeper feeling that we touch, that touches us when we get really quiet. It's, it's what I think of as the feeling of spirit. It's the spiritual depths, the hidden depths. Hidden not because somebody's hiding them, but because they're so deep. You have to get sufficiently quiet to drop down to those levels. And that's another way that sometimes people use meditation that's more impactful is to sink down into that deeper stillness and that deeper quiet, not just to calm what's going on on the surface. And it seems to me that like with the ocean, we're all experiencing all of it. It's not a choice. Well, I'm gonna ignore the surface so I can explore the depths. It's just, it's all happening inside you right now. And if you listen, if you feel into it, if you let your mind settle, 
you can experience whatever's going on in you. Like, oh God, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling that, I'm thinking this, I'm thinking that. You can find that sort of flow and let it take you. And underneath even the flow is the still, quiet, profound depth of the ocean that we are a part of. So if, if something in there strikes something in you, I'd love you to share it in the comment section. Um, and if nothing else, I, I just really want to encourage you to kind of spend a bit of time today exploring those levels within yourself and notice what you notice. Have fun, learn heaps, and I'll talk with you soon.